Jenny and Jed took took our property and put it outside when right. Joshua Markison, the plaintiff slash the owner of the property, said we had until January sixth to take okay. to gather our, our and, you, and you have those documents? Yeah. Saying until January sixth? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Have and so they the thing with a civil dispute is they may have documents saying the fifth. They don't though. No, I, I, I'm not I'm not saying they do. Well, this is, I'm, I'm explaining to you how the, it was why, why the, the the penal code you mm -hmm. quoted mm -hmm. um, is, doesn't apply here because this is a dispute over a property. And so, with a it's much almost like a child you know child custody with kids. Also, with like strangled. One parent, one parent will say, "Hey, I'm supposed to pick up the kid on this date at this time," and another parent will have a different paperwork that says, "I need to pick up the date at this kid this time." I have video of a break and an enter. Right. No, I have so, video of a break and enter from the, the like a month earlier. So okay. all that, all, like my says, when I'm still in possession of my home. It's not going to be a right. dispute. The that breaking be, and entering was uh, not. There was I'm breaking saying, and entering. I wasn't home, and I have video from across the oh, canyon. Right. I, we let you talk. Let us talk, all right? So like I said, the dispute it's over the process. property is going to be a civil dispute. With all the paperwork you have, you're going to present to a judge, and then the other party is going to present all the paperwork they have. They're going to present to a judge, and the judge is going to determine... If it's your property, their property, and if there was any crime, the, the person's uh, the person's doing and this. So the the, the, the they, they wouldn't the do that in the civil court. Stuff, they just don't do that crime part though for criminal activity. Itemize everything that was in that it's house. Civil, they don't do that. If you haven't already, I have it. I have get, it. Get, document everything, every every TV, every I know piece that. of jewelry. It's like a bill of lading. Everything, because when you go to court, like my partner said, for the civil dispute. They'll, they'll have to pay that back to you because you're because of what occurred. Can I just, the, the I thing with, with criminal activity is there has to be intent. Yeah, there, there is intent. There is massive oh, intent, and we can this, show it. But this is a civil dispute because they're going to say you have your side of the story, and they're going to say the exact same thing from their side. They're going to yeah, say, "Hey, the these thing. people won't leave. These people." I know the intent exists because the state's that, already okay? doing an evidence. There's a case with the state already. The state is already right. in, is doing. And you already stated that you were hiding from him when he locked the. The property. Mm -hmm. So, because, how was he supposed to know that you were in there if you were hiding from him? But my you, wife was not. My wife was forced downstairs to the basement where she had the door locked on her, and then he smashed all of it in front of her again. And she was forced to follow him with two guys behind him or her. There are three people. Right. Took her to the basement. It sounds like a dispute over the property. They're trying to on, crush right? your your. Right. Because and you said it yourself. You haven't really you had, heard me. You said you had to be out by the fifth, right? No. 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 no it's not. Right. What was the eviction thing for the fifth um, that you that you were talking about? Uh, so the note said that we had until the um, the sixth to get our. Okay, to the sixth. To, to pick the up sixth our, to get everything out to pick so, up your no, stuff. So to pick that up that our stuff. The seventh so okay. When they could so. Go in and yeah. You're talking about so when you were hiding, that was after early. the 6th, right? No. no that's, yeah, we, yeah, that's because we were already right. uh, in so, a con conversation with Marcus. So, so do you see what I'm saying? Like, no, the, I don't the, see what you're the saying. The things you're moment. saying and the things like no, there's going to be their side of the story, your side, and that's why it's going to be all solved in civil I court. I think it's too complicated for this, but I think that you could yeah. listen for a second. Right. Can I? you got to understand here, your other officers have understood this a little bit too, like for real. Did they do a report for you? They've taken incident cards and then building up this, like... Okay, uh, and that's exactly what we've given you right now. I'm trying to say that the state has a criminal case against uh, Josh and for Richard for um, for the intent aspect of this, which is contracting without a license and non-payment of state employment insurance and then continuing to contract on our house and building an illegal building and then rent skimming and all these other things. So the intent is literally their in right. unjust enrichment which has been their purpose the entire time was to launder money and intent to commit these crimes. And we are the victims of the purposeful intent that they've had the whole time, which is an Ellis Act house that cannot have and any that, of this that's done. That's why you'll take them to civil court. But it's not a civil matter. This is a criminal matter. They've committed mortgage yeah. fraud on a level that's fundamentally a legal problem of, the, of, a, of a federal crime. That's a federal crime. That's not a, that's not a local. So who police. do you tell that to? To the federal government. I've called the FBI. They have okay, a case that's, open, that's, 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 but there's no reporting process of them except this stupid okay. lady on the phone who's like half like her accent so thick she can't even understand you. Yeah, she's she's like the biggest pain no, in the ass I, in the I, world. I, I understand your frustration, and I know it's a very very frustrating process. I can only imagine what you're yeah, going through. The FBI is so um, great fundamentally, right. but they're right. the worst for taking right. a report. Right. right. And that's why, like, we, there's only certain things that I we can do, and based on based on what we've heard tonight, there's there's no elements of a crime that's occurred. I was just trying to for us, for things. us, what for about, us to for us to take a report. What about the, okay? What about the so, so, what you can do though is, um, like I said, like everything that we talked about has been recorded.